Synthetic marijuana has now made its way into Williamson. Tuesday, the Williamson Police Department responded to five calls where users overdosed on the drug. Sergeant John Hall Jr. with the Williamson Police Department says this has become a problem to the area and even more so with the police department. It's not a new drug, but it's new to this area called synthetic weed. It's started arriving in our area about uh, three or four months ago. We've had a few calls, but here lately it's been more everyday thing now. It's becoming a real problem for the EMS and the local law enforcement to respond to certain scenes out there in the field. Sergeant Hall says users are mixing the drug with anything they can find, which is initially what's causing the overdose. It's a synthetic weed. Uh, they, they're mixing it with uh, Raid, uh, Roach Killer, uh, just anything they can mix with it, they'll mix with it and smoke it. John Hall Jr. says the Williamson Police Department has a drug drop-off box where you can take prescription drugs and drop them off anonymously. We do have a uh, drug drop-off box in our police station. We're working with the STOP Coalition and uh, if you have expired medication or you've got medication where someone has passed away and you don't want to uh, just flush it, you can bring it to our office and drop it off and uh, we do have people come around once a month and collect the uh, medicine out of the box. The five who overdosed Tuesday were transported to Williamson Memorial Hospital and the police department will continuously check in and follow up with them. The Williamson Police Department encourages everyone to call the police department and leave an anonymous tip if you know someone using synthetic marijuana. Reporting for EKB Evening News at 6, I'm Shelby Steele.